Hey, it's Sam. Aspects in Vedic Astrology are incredibly useful um, when used properly. And there are two main kinds of aspects. Um, the sign aspects, which aren't actually used so much, and even if they are, they're kind of relegated to, you know, these sort of like special or uh, specific um, sort of bewildering, you know, techniques. And also the planetary aspects, which most people know of, like when one planet looks at another planet. And these two aspects, or these two types of aspects, actually work similar to many things in astrology. For instance, the sign aspects, or what are called Rashi aspects, are actually more what, what would be called like shtira, or fixed kind of aspects. They show things that are more fixed and more kind of static. They don't move um, like the planetary aspects move and get sort of tighter as planets move into an exact aspect by degrees. You know, the planetary aspects sort of move into and out of aspect. But the sign aspects, you know, the signs are always aspecting each other in a specific configuration. So they're fixed aspects. And so when planets move into signs that are aspecting each other, then those planets also aspect each other. So this is how the, this is how you use these what are called Rashi aspects and they show a kind of fixed quality to the aspects. And then the dynamic aspects are the planetary ones. Um, they're the ones that are always moving um, in and out of orb and in and out of intensity. So I say this, you know, um, because fixed or, you know, what are called static and dynamic factors are a general quality of astrology, a fixed, a fixed or stira quality and a dynamic or chara quality. Um, this is a principle that you see, in fact, not just in astrology but in life. And like everything that you learn astrologically or metaphysically or in, you know existentially, whenever you can see the connection to something like, you know astrological aspects and their relation to universal principles like fixed and dynamic, it gives us a good framework with which to start and with which to work. So for instance, you know, there's a sort of fixed quality of life where you're on an, you're standing on an earth that feels fixed and you have a solid body, but yet if you examine the body more closely, you see that it's full of full of motion, it's full of movement. Fixed and dynamic work in the aspects um, the way I mentioned, but also in astrology in general, you have a kind of fixed quality of the astrology chart, which means your birth chart is actually fixed. You were born at that moment in time and nothing you do changes it. You don't change the moment you were born. And that actually fixes your tendencies to be a certain way. So your tendencies are a certain way based on the natal chart. But then throughout your life, that, that's, that static or fixed quality inter interacts with the changeable qualities, with your planetary cycles, what are called the dasha cycles, with the planets as they move in the sky. These are also dynamic factors. So again, fixed and dynamic are universal principles. And in this upcoming course that I'm, taught, that I'm going to be teaching in early January 2016, one of the first things that I do is I'm going to talk about some of these fixed and dynamic factors um, when I, you know, before I start to talk about the aspects themselves. Specifically, I'm going to show you how those Rashi aspects show the sort of fixed karmas, the fixed qualities of life. Um, so many times I'm asked, so how can you tell which karmas we change and which ones we don't and all of that? One of the big secrets is that those Rashi aspects, those sign aspects, those fixed ones, really show things about our life that are somewhat fixed. They don't really change. They're not this process, this dynamic, almost kind of psychological process, which is what the, as with the, what the planetary aspects or those movable aspects tend to show. So when you see planets that have a kind of movable aspect, like, you know, the... the um, typical 
planetary aspects, they tend to show processes that we're working through and they're much more dynamic, whereas the Rashi aspects are much more fixed. So um, I have a few videos that I'm going to, that I'll be sending and that I'll be making that explain these um, fixed and dynamic aspects using um, some charts of people so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Some of them are famous people um, th where you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Like, you know, this is a fixed quality of this person and this is a more dynamic quality of the person and you'll see what I mean. So stick around. Um, I think you'll really enjoy that and certainly look into this course that I'm teaching on the aspects. It's one of the most overlooked or, or you know, overlooked and underused qualities of Vedic astrology. There's enormous power hidden in these aspects. Not only using the Rashi and the planetary aspects, but also certain specific things about aspects themselves, like the one-way aspects, which, which can happen through the Rashis or uh, the planetary aspects. Also the aspects by transit as they move in the sky and interact with the natal chart. Also how to read the aspects in the harmonic charts, all kinds of things that when they're properly utilized, they cut right to the heart of what you're trying to do, which is understand what's happening and understand why and understand when. You know, I see so many of these kind of bewildering techniques from these, you know, you, you know, obscure texts. Um, and those things work, but they're based on kind of strange calculations or, you know, things that are just not as intuitive as the aspects. Aspects are so foundational. The signs, you know, the zodiac is fixed. Those signs are always there and they're always aspecting each other and within that the planets are moving through those signs and as they move into certain alignment with each other they cast a an aspect as well and by the way the word is called drishti which means a glance so stay tuned I think you're going to really like some of these free videos that I'm going to be um, you know uh, releasing here in the next few days and look and also register for that upcoming course that's starting um, in January 2016, if you're seeing this now, um, at the end of at the end of December 2015, and you also get some great bonus gifts right away once you register. It's going to be an excellent course, and it's part of a three three part series on predictive essentials of Vedic astrology. I have a couple more classes that I'm going to teach right after that. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and leave me a message.